Good morning, uh, Christmas Fellowship and fellow believers. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Today is the 5th of uh, May 2020, and it's the 40th day of our lockdown, the fifth day of level four. This morning, I want to talk with you about our topic for the month, which is fellowship. Fellowship of the believers. Now, I'm so excited about this because I don't know of any other religion or faith where God comes looking for his creation. Why? Because he wants a relationship with his creation. And as sinful as what we are, and as uh, undeserving that we are, God in his will has made a radical plan so that you and I can be in a relationship with him. How did he do that? He sent his son Jesus to come and die on a cross and pay the sin's price so that you and I can be in a relationship with him. He determines that he shall come and dwell among us and not just among us but also in us. In turn, he encourages every single one of us as believers to not only have a relationship with him, but also to have a relationship with each other. In other words, he encourages us to have fellowship with each other, to get to know each other, to really live our lives with each other, involved in each other's lives. And here I want to share just three short scriptures with you. The first one is found in the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. It says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to breaking of bread and to prayer. Very clearly, the instruction here um, is that we need to stick to the teachings that the apostle gave, the apostles gave. And that is that we need to live by grace through faith. And then he says, we must, he calls us to fellowship, to fellowship with one another, to break bread. In other words, to have meals together, to enjoy each other's companies and to pray together. Do not forget to pray. Hallelujah. The second one is found in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 9. He says, God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So in other words, it pleases God to have you and I in a relationship with him and also with each other. And thirdly, the third scripture is found in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. He says, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. And here I want to say to you and I want to encourage you. Yes, we are relational beings. We are in relationship with God and with each other. So I want to encourage you, even though it is locked down, be in touch. Reach out and be together with your brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Father, we say thank you for this beautiful relationship that you have called us to. Firstly, with yourself. Oh, as the songwriter says, to know you is, is sweeter than wine. It is sweeter than anything that we can experience in life. It's to know you and to dwell in your presence. Also, it is so precious that we can enjoy each other's company and encourage one another. And therefore, 
this morning, Lord, we just want to lift up our hearts to you and ask that you will bind us as a community together, as believers, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go into this day confident that God has your back. And there are many other believers who love you and care for you and want to have a relationship with you and to sustain you. God bless you. Amen.